All right, so talking to girls during the day, or as some people like to call it, day game. <laughs> uh, again, not a huge fan of these pickup terms. But how do you do it? So there's a lot of guys that uh, I've students that I have that go out and they still complain to me about approach anxiety. And look, man, I've been doing this for years and I still get approach anxiety. If I'm just going out to talk to girls or hit on girls during the daytime, I will probably get a little nervous before my first one. Most of the videos out there I see, I see giving advice are telling guys, oh, just psych yourself up. There's no reason to be nervous. You're just having a normal conversation with somebody, right? And not that these videos are wrong or anything, but that type of stuff can psych you up for a little bit. It can, it can convince you, yeah, yeah, I'm pumped. Like, no, there's nothing wrong with it. And then it lasts you through your first couple, you know, the first couple times, first couple girls that you talk to. But long term, it's not the best solution, in my opinion. I think a better solution is to have something better to do than picking up girls. Okay? So, when I say better, I don't even mean better. I just mean have something else that you're going out to do. What I like to do is if I'm going out and I want to talk to some girls, uh, I think of first about giving myself an assignment, okay? What am I going out to do? Like, let's say I want to get some tea, okay? I could make tea at my house, or I could order some tea, or I could walk down to an area of my neighborhood where I know that there are a lot of different shops, I know there's a lot of cute girls walking nearby, and I might meet one on the way that would be really cute. Okay, that is a lot better than me just kind of walking around aimlessly, like trying to talk to women. If you give yourself an assignment, it's going to feel a lot more normal. It's going to feel um, a lot more natural, especially when you first start talking to someone, because a lot of times they'll ask you what you're doing, if, especially if it's going well. They'll ask you what you're doing, and rather than you just saying, oh, like I'm just hanging out, are you lying? Now you have, you have something to say. You say, oh, I'm going to get some tea. And then on top of that, a lot of times <laughs> with, these, uh, with these interactions that guys have, even if, let, let's say they're going out just t trying to hit on girls, it, it, let's say it goes well, like the girl's actually talking to you, she's interested in you. Now, at times a lot of guys panic and they don't know what to do, and rather than es trying to escape an awkward situation, they'll just get the phone number and then run away. Okay, the more time you spend with a girl, the more comfortable she's going to get with you and the more attracted she's going to be to you. Having something else to do after that is awesome, okay? Having an instant date that you can just go on is going to help the interaction a lot more. So if the interaction is going well, you're talking to this girl, and she's like, hey, well, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm actually going to get some tea. Do you want to come with me? Cool, I'm not doing anything for a little bit. And then she comes with you. Now you just, she just walked with you. Now you have something to do for like maybe 20, 30 minutes. She can talk to you for a little bit, decide if she likes you. And it's going to make the, it that much more likely that she's gonna message you back. A lot of times I see guys going out and they get like, I don't know, 10 numbers or something like that, if it's in a really good spot, and most of the girls don't message them back, and the only ones that do are ones they weren't really interested in to begin with. I see this happen all the time. If you spend more time with your, if you spend more time talking to the girl, if you spend more time with her, she can get comfortable with you, she can get to know you a little bit more, you can display those attractive qualities that we talk about in this channel, it's gonna be much more likely that she's gonna message you back. So having that extra step to push things forward in the direction that you're looking for, um, if she's interested in you and you're interested in her, Pushing that in the right direction uh, is always going to help. I think tea is a good option. I think if you're going to go out and get to maybe get a bite to eat, a coffee, or something like that, or let's say you're going to a shopping mall, or you're, going to, you're shopping for something. Um, it's really popular to go shopping for Christmas gifts now. It's uh, around Christmas time. So that's a really good option for you to do, to do as well. I actually have a story about this. I was at the mall a couple years ago. I was looking for a present for my grandmother. And I was, I was walking around trying to find, figure out what my grandma's into. <laughs> um, and so I'm like, I just ended up talking to this girl kind of next to me because I was like looking at some stuff trying to figure out. I had no idea what to get my grandmother. So I just started talking to the girl next to me. I said, hey, what's up? What are you up to? And, you know, she said she was shopping for some clothes or something like that. And I said, oh, cool. I mean, I'm shopping for, uh, you know, a gift for my grandmother. And then she's like, oh, really? What are you going to get? And I was like, that's what I'm talking to you about. I don't know. And so <laughs> I tried to make it into like this fun game where I was like, let's say, let's say it's 50 years from now where you're like a nice, cute little grandmother and you got some grandkids. What would be a perfect present from one of those grandkids? And so she's trying to put herself into those, in those shoes. Anyway, we kept talking. I made it silly and fun. And it, it was going really well. So she had, I ended up getting her to come with me and shop for a present with my, for my grandmother. So we're walking around this mall trying to find a present for my grandmother and I don't know, we walked around for about an hour and of course like we were looking at different stuff, talking, getting to know each other 
and it was it went really well obviously and the hour that we spent hanging out together was so much more powerful than me just kind of getting the number and leaving or something like that obviously I got her phone number and it ended up ending really successfully with this girl okay we had we ended up seeing each other for a little bit it was a built built up a good foundation and it wasn't something that was it felt weird it felt canned it felt totally natural so what I invite you guys to do from now on is to go, rather than just just going out to to hit on girls or to pick up girls or something like that when you if you're going to an area have something to do there and you don't always have to be spending money. You know, I mentioned that yo, know, I'm getting a tea, a coffee, or I'm shopping for something. Even if you're shopping for something, dude, if you're just like, oh, I'm trying to buy a new shirt or something like that. Can you help me find something? Like, that's a really good method, too. I've used that one before. If you're really poor and you really don't want to buy a shirt, you can just return the shirt later and get all your money back. Like, there's, <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. Um, and uh, if you're just going out, a tea costs almost nothing, you know? To summarize, I would say if you're going to go out, the way to cut down on the amount of nervousness to make you feel like less of a creep, to make you feel like less of a weirdo, have something else to do that is not associated with picking up women, something that is in an area that you know there's going to be women there. You know there's going to be women around, maybe they're shopping, maybe they're doing whatever. Have something to do there. I don't know what your area is like. I don't know what's available in your neighborhood. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. I gave you some ideas in this video already, but that's gonna cut down on your approach anxiety, that's gonna cut down on the amount of nerves that you get, how creepy you feel, and weird you feel, and it's gonna be able to take it to the next step, into a direction that you're looking for, where you can make progress with this girl. All of those things are really helpful. So, thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, this is where I take guys that are struggling, or not necessarily guys that are struggling, guys that are, you know, maybe still, that are pretty good, but still want something better for them, still want better options and better girls in their life. Message me, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there, you guys.